Hello everyone, this is Michael Rock and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you an absolutely great feature that you can use every time after you finish your lesson and this feature calls test. It is very flexible and you can customize it in many different ways. In my opinion, it's a good way to check how your students memorize everything and also it's an amazing tool to test their knowledge. So let's dive into class in. To post a test, first choose a class, then click on test tab and then click on post test. So here we have two different tabs, my drive and add questions. In this video, we're going to focus on the second tab, add questions, because it's exactly where you customize your questions, add images to them and add other many different extras in order to make your test for your students various and engaging. So let's start with the first one, a single choice question. In the first field, you can enter your question and also add an image. This is optional, but let's do it. After that, you need to set the correct answer and different options. To add more options, simply click on add an option button. You can add up to 26 options to choose from. To remove options, click on minus button. In this example, let's use a traditional four answers setup. To set the correct answer, just simply click on it. You can also add images to each option. To do that, simply click on image icon and choose an image. To change the order of your options, use up and down arrows on the right side. You can also add an explanation to your question and add image to that. To do that, simply click on add explanation. By default, you can also save your question to your cloud drive. After you finished, click on the confirm button. Right now, let's go to the next step, multi-choice question. Here, as you can guess, everything is pretty much the same as in a single choice version, but now you can set several correct answers by simply clicking on each of them. Let's add a multi-choice question. After you've finished, just click on the confirm button. Now let's go to the next one, and this is my favorite, true or false. Simple, but essential. To add a question, simply enter it the same we did in the previous examples and click on the option A if it is true or click on the option B if it is false. You can also add explanation if necessary. Once you've finished, click on the confirm button. All right, let's move to the next one. And this is a fill in the blanks option. So for example, you can enter a text and ask your students to fill in the gaps some missing words. And as you see, there is a really nice tip available that it's better to add a serial number for each missing word so your students won't get lost or confused. So let's add a task and add different answers. Choose additional options if necessary and click on the confirm button. Okay, now let's check the last one and this is a classical Q and A. When you use this option, you can provide more freedom to your students while they are answering. To do that, enter the question, but don't enter the answer so your students will be able to write it in a free way. If you want to specify the answer, just enter it in this field. Add explanation if necessary and click on the confirm button. Okay, now we've made five different types of questions using test feature. And I would also like to mention that if you want to switch and choose different type of tests, you can also achieve the same result by choosing a type from this menu. All right, now let's click on this button. Next step, content and settings. In the middle of the screen, you can see the preview of our question and also you can add a description and manage your test contents. We can edit, copy, save, and also change the order of your questions. If you forgot to add a question, you can simply do it by clicking on insert a new question after this. You can also change the score for each question and the total score will be displayed here. Now let's choose the start and end date, number of students who will receive this test, set a limit if necessary. Also, you can change some other settings such as public answer and public test, allow students to submit late and also allow students who join the class later to submit tests. Also, if you have fill in the blank type of test, choose the right option for it. 
Let's click on the preview button to see how it will look like on PC and mobile. And after that, click on the confirm button. Your test will become visible here with ongoing status. Now let's switch to the student screen to see how does it look from their side. So first of all, students will see a do test button available so they can click on it or simply click on the class and then click on the test tab and then click on take test. Here they have everything as we had on preview and also there will be remaining time available. After they've finished with their answers, they need to click on test submit button and then click on the confirm button. Now let's get back to the teacher screen. If you click on the test tab, you will be able to review the answer. Mark their answers as correct, half correct or wrong by clicking on these icons and click on the done button. After that, students will be able to see your review and feedback. So that's pretty much what I wanted to show you today. I really hope that after watching this video, it will be easier for you to operate with the test feature and you will start to use it in your lessons. Don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed this video and please let me know if you have any ideas or suggestions. Also, please check my links down below in the description. I have a lot of useful stuff there, including a link that would allow you to use Classin for one month absolutely for free and you would be able to explore all its amazing features. So that's it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you very, very soon in the next video.